Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to use RMBG 2.0 and Comfy UI for removing backgrounds from our images. So to use RMBG 2.0 with Comfy UI, we need to install a custom node inside Comfy UI. After that, when we run that custom node, it will automatically download the A model. So we don't need to download it manually. So let's get started. First, let's download the custom node. The link is in description. Let's open the link inside browser here we go if you scroll down then you can see the detailed information about this custom node anyway let's download the node click on the code a drop down menu will come up and click on download zip and wait for a second the download will get finished after finishing the download open the downloads folder extract the zip file using winra or 7zip or windows native extractor after the extraction open the folder and make sure the files of the custom node is not in another subfolder as you may know by default the windows native extractor may create another subfolder and we don't want that in my case there is no subfolder because i used 7zip with extract here option anyway let's go back and rename the folder from comfy ui hyphen rm rmbg hyphen main to just comfy ui hyphen rmbg after that copy or cut the folder open the comfy ui folder again open the comfy ui folder find the folder called custom dash notes and open that folder paste the folder we just copied after that let's go back to the main folder next we need to install team in comfy ui if you already have team inside comfy ui then you can skip this step if you don't follow me so open the python embedded folder located in comfy ui main folder click in an empty space then right click a drop down menu will come up click on open in terminal if you are missing this option then you can use shift plus right click which will show you the open powershell window here option powershell can also be used for installing team packages anyway here we got our terminal window now type dot forward slash python dot x space hyphen m space pip space install space team then press enter and wait for a while the package will be installed after finishing installation close the terminal window go back to the main folder run the comfy ui here we go first let's clear all of these nodes go to the edit menu click on clear workflow here we go now let's start adding nodes that we needed for removing the backgrounds of our images first let's add a load image node so double click anywhere in this empty space and search for load image here it is let's click on it after adding the node click on choose file to upload which will bring up a file browser and open the folder where your image is located mine is in downloads let's select this picture and click on open next we are going to add the custom node we just installed so double click on the empty space and search for rmbg remove background here it is click on it now let's connect image output of load image to the image input of rmbg node next we need to add the save image node so click and drag the image output of rmbg node a line will appear release your mouse button and you will see a lot of options click on save image there it is now everything is ready let's run these nodes at first we are going to use the default options let's see how it is going to remove the background of our image click on the q button let's wait for a while as i said before when you use this custom node for first time it will download the a model needed for removing the background so be patient in my case i already have that a model so it will be faster here we go the background of our image is removed let's save this image and open it in another image viewer well the a model has done a good job let's zoom it further and there are some problems with edges so let's see how we are going to fix that problem for that we need to change the values of rmbg node as you can see there are a lot of options available here by changing these values it will affect our output image and the option we are going to change right now is mask blur by increasing the value of mask blur it will smooth the edges of our output image let's change the value of mask blur to 1 and click on the q button to see the result 
Let's wait for a second. Here we go. It looks like it has done some changes to our image. Well, it looks fine, but not enough. Let's change the value of mask blur from 1 to 2 and run the nodes again. Okay, looks like it is improved a lot. Well, we can improve the edges of our subject even further by changing other options in the RMBG node. So let's take a look at those options. The first most important option is sensitivity. It is used for changing mask detection strength. Use the higher values for stricter detection which will increase the chances of removing more unwanted pixels around your subjects. So let's increase the value and see how it affects our image. Click on Q button and wait for a while. Here we go. Let's save the image and open it in another image viewer. So if you zoom in further, you will notice a lot of unwanted pixels are missing from the edges of our subject, which is good. So let's play with the other options. Processing resolution. This option is used for changing the processing resolution of our input image. So higher the value, better the mask, but it needs more VRAM. Anyway, let's increase the value and run the nodes. And here we go, I got an error allocation on device, which means my VRAM is not enough. So let's decrease the value of processing resolution and run the nodes again. And now if you look closer, you can see the edges of our subject is even better than before. So the next option in the list is mask blur, which we already learned. So let's move on to the next option, mask offset. This option is used for shrinking and expanding the mask that a model creates, which in turn will affect the edges of our subject in the photo. So let's change the value from zero to a negative value and see how it affects the output image. If you look closely, you can see the edges of our subject get cropped. Let's change the value to a positive value which will expand the mask that A creates and in turn it will start showing some other pixels of the original picture. Now let's change the mask offset to zero and guys that's it. Now all you have to do is play with these settings and find the proper settings according to your needs. Moving on, we can also export the mask that RMBG creates. So how are we going to do that? Double click in MD space and search for convert mask to image. Click on it. Connect the mask output of RMBG to the mask input of convert mask to image node. Then create a save image node, connect it and click on the Q button. In a few seconds, we will get a mask. Now you can save this mask and use it with other photo editing programs or any other programs that you want to use this mask. And that's it guys. What do you think about this video? Please let me know in comment section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.